Jeremiah making it a thousand. Eric again with seven deuce. 4,500. 45. Ali. 13. With ace queen. Well, four bet. A serious raise, Ali. Ali has really had Eric's number tonight. But Eric has not been one to pass up an opportunity to win the seven deuce game. Your bet almost flops, right? Makes this call. It's the only hand he can win with tonight, it seems like. So uh, now he's going to show the hand, share it with Justin Young. He loves giving Justin a peek at his cards. Justin going to hide his face, doesn't want Ali to pick up anything. Oh, OK, here goes the flop. Jack 6-4. Neither player connects here. Ali will bet 8,000. Pretty big pot, you know. How big? Like 27. <laughs> 27,000 to go. <laughs> He loves the bet size he tells. This is amazing. Oh, let's look through the victory drink, sir. Well, I'm on it. You can't make this call. I can't remember the last time I had this much fun watching poker, Vince. What a wild game. Can make this call. Allie's on to him. You got an overpair that you're in love with, are you? You got better? Did you make all your money with overpairs? I didn't make any of my money with overpairs. No, I make... Probably none. 81,000 going to the turn. Five on the turn. Check. How much are you playing? 20, 40, 60. Oh, no, I'm sorry. You got, you got flags. So 70, 130, 140. What's up, Chris? Um, hey, what's up? I'm all in. And Eric goes all in. Ali has 165,000 behind. <laughs> Welcome to the table, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Ali senses that not all is right with this bet, but has a near impossible call with just ace high. He's got an overpair. Wow. That Damn, is boys. why we sweat together. That's why we sweat together. Oh, I will happily pay you $500. Wow. All right, it looks like How's we have a seven deuce game going. <laughs> oh, we're playing deuce seven, by the way. <laughs> but you gotta tip your hat to Eric Pearson, who has a lot of guts. Let's, let's be real. When we haven't been playing it, that's never stopped you from playing seven deuce. Oh, yeah. <laughs> to be fair. <laughs> okay, lots of speculation there. Now Jeremiah with the suited connector. <laughs> It's like four hundred dollars in the pot going to the turn. We'll make it a thousand to go. And Eric, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Is that my four? It's the uh, seven deuce oh. game, not six deuce, Eric. Could but <laughs> I'm gonna try. <laughs> He's on the turn. He's gonna three bet up to thirty five hundred. Really loosening oh, up here. Come on, Jeremiah. You're on tilt. Get in here. Swim with sharks, baby. <laughs> Why does Eric want to keep him good? He's got six high. Why keep him in? Oh, I love this guy. Seven, five, four on the flop. Top pair and a gut shot for Jeremiah. 45. Open ender for Eric, who follows through with 4,500. Jeremiah makes the call. Go to a turn. Nine of diamonds. Puts a second flush draw up on the board. 13-2. 17,000 in the middle. Eric will bet 13-2. So he is following through here, Vince. There's no shame in folding, Jeremiah. But there's a lot of shame in calling this spot. A lot of shame? <laughs> a lot of shame. So bad. Why? Because, because remember what I stacked you with last time? Which hand was that? It was 6-8. Wow. You'll have to be more That's specific. <laughs> and you just couldn't believe it because you had a set. Is that 13-2? 13-2, sir. Jeremiah feeling more confident after hearing that mishmash. To this discomfort of Eric. River card, will Eric get there? No, it is Jeremiah who gets there. Fills in his straight. Check. I'm all in. Whoa, Whoa! There you go. I have a straight. I'm just making sure there's not a paired board or something. What is there's this? no paired board, sir. I have, I have an eight. <laughs> what? 
Well, you can't fold an eight. It's a pretty clear call. Just spot like this. Sometimes in life you have to stack off. Eric trying to double talk here. There's zero chance you can fold here. Justin Young. Zero. Ducking for cover. Wow. Zero. Why? Chance. Because you have an eight. <laughs> this is a TV. Eight right here. <laughs> the only chance I can beat you is with an eight and a ten. I mean, I'm I mean, just Hollywooding at this point. Why would I risk, you know what I'm saying? You have to call here. You literally have no lay down value. If you can't call this one, <laughs> you have to go play tic-tac-toe with your boys because you just stacked me, or didn't stack me. He's made this call, he has won a massive pot. I was just wanting to take a minute. Why did you put your hoodie on? I was nervous for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> he said that he had an eight and you started talking to him and I was like, oh, he's gonna well, call. What else can I do? He's not gonna just clam up. <laughs> Jeremiah getting his money back looking good. It's like you don't have no money. <laughs> Here we go. Breaks in the pot of the night, whoa. Ali makes it a thousand. Trapping me? Huh? You trying to trap me here? How is it a trap? <laughs> I see it. If you don't see it, it's fine. Jeremiah has called. Someone sees my stuff, you know? I, finally. Eric with 9-3. He doesn't care. We'll make this call. <laughs> if you're going to call it 9-3, it's always a trap, Vince. Here's the flop, a7-5, two clubs. What a flop for Ali Imsurovic. Open-ended straight flush draw. That's a thousand. Neither of his opponents have connected here, though, so this should be an easy win. Is Eric really gonna continue? He check raises him. What is going on? Makes it 3,000 to go with nine high. For the love of God, please have a club draw. You, you have a club, club draw? draw? No, I don't have a club draw. You don't? No, fuck it. No. What else could you have? Got aces. Ten. Two aces? Like, just two aces. <laughs> just just two, you know? I feel like any ace in the spot would be super, super good. Probably true. I mean, you know what? Because I think that you are likely to fall for it. I'm going to show you my kicker. Don't do my it, Eric. not even that good. So it's like one of these spots where if you're really smart, I'm going to probably bet. I'll show you my kicker. I'm going to bet out. You'll just call. Force me to bet the river, and then you'll make a raise hoping that I'll fold because the kicker's so bad, but I won't fold, and I'm gonna tell TV ahead of time what's gonna happen. That's genius, man. I'm gonna <laughs> bet 4,400. <laughs> I can't wait. I mean, I kind of have no choice. <laughs> All right, I fold. 20,000. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, look at that hand. Nice hand. What's the river? What's the river? River. We need a river. We have to have it. Would Ali have gotten there? Yes, he would with a straight flush. Once again, once again, I win by losing. Eric has got to scrap that strategy quickly. Plus, these chips are not good shuffling chips. They're like a couple quick folds into Seth with a six, and he will raise it up. Justin, three betting, the King Jack suited up to 3,000. And now the non-professional Eric with a 9-6 is tempted to call this with his junk can. Blood. Yeah, this ain't blood. No, blood starts at 10,000. Potential blood. Potential blood. There's chum in the water. So heads up between Justin and Eric. And it is a King 9-9 nine, nine flop. Bad board for Justin here. Hard to put Eric on a nine. No blood. But look at this. Justin checks it back. This doesn't count, right? Eric with the bet in the dark on the turn for 4,000. Justin will make the call. Come on, man. You got the ace of diamonds in your hand? I don't know. I just feel confident. Eric, 20,000 in the dark on the river. Hey, what do you do here if you're Justin Young? I mean, you're smart. You know how to lay down a bunch of big hands. <laughs> this is TV. You're in the show, Justin. I am in the show. And I got the best seat in the house. <laughs> Someone I'm doing. Don't worry. He's letting it go. Probably should. I mean, it's not like you have an ace or a king. Yeah, you're right. I don't. No, good call. You have a king. Yeah. What does the king do here? Nothing. I mean, <laughs> king's a nine's ace kicker. I mean, maybe you're playing for half the pot. <laughs> I know. 
But half the pot's pretty big. I guess you don't, you're not raising me here. You don't have Jack Queen. Yeah, I, sure wish, I wish I had the balls to just raise you right here. Well, reach down. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Show me the king, there it is. queen. Oh, man. Oh, it's such a big <laughs> hand. Such a big <laughs> hand. Now, look at this. Eric's just going to show him the six. <laughs> going to keep him guessing a little bit. Oh, look at all these chocolates. <laughs> so nice. Chris. Jeremiah with his ace king raises it up. We are playing the seven deuce game tonight, Vince. Sure. Should you win a pot with seven deuce, everyone sends you $500, except the last person to fold sends you a thousand. This is a preventative alley bit. There you go. I'm not even the hand yet. That's bullshit. <laughs> Prepubescent alley bet. So Eric will kick it up to 6,000, but he is running into the ace king of Jeremiah. Shall I get a revenge? Maybe you can double through me again. Yum, yum. All right, I call. Just calls with the ace king. I need you have a pair of tens. I'm not gonna go far. Let's come look at you. Oh, I just picked up a tell. Oh, that's another one. Check. Six five three, brilliant flop for seven deuce, and one that should not inspire Jeremiah to continue. I feel like seventy two hundred same spare in this spot. Eric hinting at his hand says it seems like seventy two hundred seems fair. With his seven deuce, it's gonna work out. Yeah, you can throw that over here. I appreciate I'm it. I'm trying. I, I mean, I, I tried to signal him the whole time. Eric will get an additional 500 from each player. It ain't easy being cheesy. That's it. That's your board. I'm too scared. He bet 7,200, by the way. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> How was this in the pot? Wow. <laughs> no, I had seven dudes and bet 7,200. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Seth can't play a 5-4. Justin wants to play a 7-6, raising into the big blind of Eric. Good fold. Sick. Oh, there's, there's, no, there's no fold oh, I didn't. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you would fold. There's no fold in this spot. These two have tangled a number of times so far, and Eric will accept the invitation to do so once more. I check it. We get ourselves a king, 9-5, two hearts and a diamond flop. So Justin with a gut shot, Eric just ace high and backdoor heart draw. He is going to check raise up to 3,500. And Justin... Not ready to let it go. We'll make the call. So these two building a pot. And an ace of spades on the turn. Okay, so Eric now pops a pair of aces. Now betting 5,000. Does Justin want to peel once more? No, he wants to raise. He's going to make it 15,000. A daring play from Justin here with just a gut shot to the eight. Especially against Eric, who, after losing a big pot, might not be in a folding mood. He does make this call. So about 40,000 in this pot going to the river. It's a seven, which will give Justin a pair. But ultimately, he is behind the top pair of Eric. And Eric, after getting raised on the turn, is going to block this river. Not even a block. He's going to bet more than that. 17-5. Look at this. Eric taking the lead back. Owen. Christ, it's not going to be cooler like this. Justin with great timing here. He blocks two pair. He blocks the straight. I thought you were going to fold a weak call. You shoved. I turned two pair, man. It's kind of hard. Yeah, it's like, this is the two pair. Sure, sure. <laughs> Obviously, the ace of hearts and something else. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 I mean, fair, fair. <laughs> this one kind of hurts. Certainly the biggest bluff of the night. Oh, and you are. Holy smokes. How can this be good, man? You, you got ace king, you flop a set. Nines, I guess. I don't know. I don't have ace king for what it's worth. I didn't give you ace king. That's why I was so happy to bet you. I thought at best it'd be a weak call. Then you shocked me. Have we ever had a big hand before? 
We've maybe had one like 60K or something. Yeah, peanuts. 60K is a lot of money. Did I win the hand? Yeah. Oh, good. I'm not sure if you bluffed me or not. I don't even know the hand, so I oh, can't Oh, I know. Tell like, you. It meant a lot to me at the time. <laughs> this one should mean a lot to you. I gotta let it go. I, I don't know why I'm letting it go. Oh, wow. Yes, oh, Justin tables wow. the bluff. Oh, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> wow, Justin. Oh, I showed you the ace and purpose that I get nothing out of you. Ah. Wow, that was, that was dope. That was dope. Chris Brewer just broke onto the scene in the last few years and already amassed nearly five million in tournament earnings. So this guy is an ascendant player. He's gonna be tough at this table. Yeah, no, it's kind of it's kind of sick though. Good strategy. We see him call with the 10-7 suited up against Ali's pocket threes. Justin calls with pocket deuces. <laughs> Eric, never a big folder. Makes the call with a six. No, excuse me, he's gonna three bet to 12,000. Looks like free money, Ali. Highly really suspicious does. range. <laughs> <laughs> suspicious. I mean, can I have a hand every time? No. All right. Ali's gonna come along. I uh, get me out of that. <laughs> I had I had some cheese. <laughs> I got the Gouda. All right, Chris and Justin going away. So two way action. <laughs> These two playing very deep stack poker right now. But we don't have the same hand. Uh, we don't have the same hand. Eric gives Justin his usual sweat. Three king, queen, three clubs, three of a card for Ali. I don't remember if I have the ace of clubs. I really don't. And Eric, again, acting slowly and uncertain when he doesn't have much of a hand. It's got to be profitable to call with most any club 10 or higher here. You think? I think so. Yeah. I feel like that, too. You really are my dealer, dude. It's so sick. It is so <laughs> sick. It is so sick. Let's go. 17. And he's got his man betting with nothing. Oh, no. Just walk the dog, Ellie. That's exactly what he's gonna do. Just makes the call. Let's go to the turn. Oh, even worse. 36. Eric drawing stone dead, betting 36,000 into the full house of Ali M. Servich. Trying to get real. It's gotten real all right. Feeling a little blood. You have ace If I uh, beat you in this hand, I'll buy you a drink. I don't think I'll want it. <laughs> <laughs> Ali, ready to destroy his man. Well, Eric cannot win. He just needs to shut this bluff down. A three on the river will make quads for Ali. I mean, there's hardly any bluff value here in this spot. You know what I'm saying? There's what? Hardly any bluff value left in this spot. I don't know what bluff value is. <laughs> Eric has the most inventive <laughs> poker terms. What are you playing? 20, 40, 60? Oh, you got three cranberries, or three fives, so that's only 75. And then 85, yeah, we're all in. Uh-oh. I call. You win. Oh, no. What, oh, threes? Oh, my God. What do you got, Ali? Nice hand, dude. Five, eight, I bluffed that off. I got 103.3. Just a massive mistake by Eric Person. Another 12. As Eric eight, has to seven. stew, having just lost six figures to Ali and Servish. Wow, that's a bad card. Five. That's a shockingly bad card. Yeah. That was a good card for you. The energy is sucked out of the room. And he's going to raise to 2,000. Eric makes the call with ace, deuce of clubs. Ali with four deuce in the straddle. Come along as well, splashing around. And it is King Jack for all clubs. Eric has flopped the nuts and leads right out. We have seen Eric do that a few times tonight where he leads out when he makes a hand on the flop. Chris with Kings is gonna make the call. So the thousand was bet and called and now Chris has two pair. Eric's still betting, but not for very much. And Chris is gonna call this. Need a club? Let me check. 
So he's getting involved, going to the river. And oh, it's a no. Ooh, there's a club. Chris makes the runner runner full house. Eric's bad night keeps getting worse. Well, you don't have the ace of clubs. Because I have it. Plus, he's stuck so much, you oh. want to get some more value. You think you're probably in front. So he's going to try to get more value out of it. He's betting 10,000. I don't know why you would tell your opponent exactly what you have before betting the river. But Eric likes to talk in the middle of hands. 65. Call. Oh. Uh, pull house? Yeah. Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus. Nice sizing Same from Chris here. What the f is going on? Then again, his opponent did tell him, I've got the ace of clubs. It was a green light to go for the maximum. Yeah, you gotta tell them your poker story. It's pretty interesting. What poker story? How you were a pro for like 10 years. Play uh, lemon and all that. You're, you're a poker pro for 10 years? Yeah. I put myself 300 grand in law school playing poker. Yeah. yeah. That's, I mean, that's an awesome story. You can't, you can't tell? <laughs> you can't tell. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. I, I got about... 34,000 hours of log live play. Eric limps into the pot. Ralph will limp right behind him. Ali will limp as well. Two more hours than I've been alive, I think. Seth <laughs> will surprisingly fold. Justin completes King Jack of Clubs. <laughs> Jeremiah checks. <sighs> and it is a three deuce deuce flop. I'm not losing this hand. So somehow Ralph's fours are an overpair on this board. But Eric, the one starting the betting at 1300, Ralph makes the call. <laughs> I'm just, I just want to have a couple beers with my buddies and hang out. What are you doing here, here Ralph? Like what are you doing? Out. <laughs> who, who, wait, let's, let's have a poll. Who's more likely to have a two or a three right now, me or you? Or a king. You're a lot more likely to have a king. I check. And Ralph Sand could use some protection here. So he's gonna fire out 1400. Try and charge Eric to see a river with his overcards. Trying to bet 20% of the pot? What the f is that? Doesn't want to bet too big. Is that a mistake? In the event that Eric has turned a king. You're not holding a deuce in the middle. It's so bad. It's literally so bad. It's so freaking bad. We could have hit the king. Would the king good? Feels like it's good though, right? 5,400. He's gonna check raise him to 5,400. <laughs> Makes me so happy. <laughs> when I go for the flush draw, go for it. I don't have a full house yet. You still have six cards. I have a feeling Ralph won't find this very credible. And it's not the most credible line. Check call. Talk my ear off and then check raise. Yeah, put those unlucky purple chips in there. They'd be lucky for me. Makes the call with the fours. Nice call from Ralph. River, an ace. And so Eric oh. makes his hand. Now, acting quickly, fires out 5,400. And at this point, it is hard for Ralph to beat very much. I'll tell you what, I'll make it easy for you. No, can't show you that one. No, no I can't make it, sorry, I can't make it easy for you. <laughs> I should have just let it go on the flop. Now I'm gonna make two chocolates off you. Well, you don't have no more chocolates. Damn. Don't worry, if you're gonna shove, I'm gonna call. You don't have to wait no longer. You gotta love this guy's talk. Will he get his man to call? I mean, if you have the old deuce ace, I guess that'd be good. Well, I've seen Ralph make some very disciplined folds in the past. We'll see if he can put the pieces together here. Yes, he does. How is that? That's uh, Eric with the river ace. We'll take that down and show a nine. Nine deuce, maybe? Maybe the deuce of hearts. Didn't show both cards. You know a man like Eric would be showing both cards if he was completely bluffing. 
can't help himself but slam that bluff down in his face. 